testing this armor versus a 223 round and we're also going to be testing it against a 22 caliber round now this piece right here is printed with an abs like material so the goal is for this to catch any fragments that break up after hitting the composite piece of armor right here now i'm not sure if you guys have ever seen dragon skin armor but it kind of worked on the similar principle where there are lots of ceramic plates and ideally these can take multiple rounds without deforming we'll have the back plate followed by the white ceramic plate and the support plate up against here like this. Ideally, when a round impacts this, this will only compromise this one piece. And if you have a bunch of these layered, it can take multiple hits in theory. Since this is kind of expensive, I'm just testing a few of these pieces out. But in theory, if this works, you could put these all along this armor, kind of like dragon plate armor and have a totally 3D printed body armor set up. For the back plate, I'm using Crab B's high tough APS like pro resin. This is the final layer of protection and should capture any of the fragmented bullet that makes it through the first two layers. I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Crab B, for providing the K1 Nova 3D printer and also providing the resin used to print the back plate for this body armor test. I've included a link in the description, so if you want to purchase this printer along with the resin used in this experiment, be sure to check it out below. Now this was a fairly long print, I believe it took 12 hours in total to print the back plate and about 7 to 8 hours to print these ceramic and composite discs. For the front plate, I'm using a resin called Composite X, which uses ceramic reinforced in the resin to break apart the projectile. Behind that, I'm using a resin called Strong X, which should help capture any of the fragmented bullet debris after the ceramic has broken it apart. After hours of printing and curing, we're finally able to test our 3D printed body armor. This first test actually went better than expected. The first two layers broke apart and zero pass through to the final back plate. Well, now that we know it can stop a 22, let's see if it can stop a 223 NATO round. Upon closer inspection, it looks like the round did break apart somewhat, but not enough to completely stop it. And it actually pushed part of the resin into the block of wood. There might be a way to defeat a 223 round with resin armor. If you guys have ideas on how I can improve this armor, let me know. Until then, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.